we've done studies and showed if you give the physiologic doses of vitamin D2 and vitamin D3, you will raise the blood levels of 25-hydroxy vitamin D to the same degree. But more importantly, the question that should be asked, do your kidneys recognize then 25-hydroxy vitamin D2 as efficiently? And the answer is yes, we did the study. And we showed that when you put a person on vitamin D2, it's the major substrate. And so as a result, it's converted to 25-hydroxy vitamin D2, goes to the kidney, and it's converted to 125-dihydroxy vitamin D2. And what we found was that, as you would have anticipated, is that the 125-D3 levels go down, the 125-D2 levels go up, so the total amount remains the same. So whether you're on vitamin D2 or vitamin D3, you can maintain vitamin D status and the active form of vitamin D. So from my perspective, vitamin D2 is as effective as vitamin D3, and I use it all the time in my clinic. Also, vegans are not interested in taking vitamin D3 because it comes from an animal source, which is lanolin. And what they do is that they extract the cholesterol out of lanolin, and then they make it into 7-D hydrocholesterol chemically, and then irradiate it to make vitamin D3. 